Today is another week and I am so thankful and grateful that I had such a great response to my makeover video with my friend Vivian. Um, I hope that uh, you continue to support me on my channel and every click on the subscription button down below would help me to achieve and get nearer to my goal. Um, YouTube, as I said, will not push out my video unless I've got that minimum 1000 subscriber and enough actually it's 4000 hours of watch time but sometimes i've seen other fellow youtubers like one of my recent uh, youtuber friends suddenly her channel blew up and she got like 2.2 million views on one of her video and it had a ripple effect all her videos that were like having only about 100 to 400 views now suddenly spiral to minimum of 7,000 views to 100,000 views so it can happen and it's very exciting for us especially um, YouTubers uh, that are starting out together in the same group as I am so in this video I'm going to be concentrating again on some new jewelry um, I just want to talk to you about my what I call my long strand 5mm pearls I recently brought it back to my jeweler friend because uh, the clasp the old clasp was coming loose so I brought it back to them and I had it re-knotted as well this is individually knotted with thread and I asked them I said this is a 5mm pearl right um, because this is the most expensive in my pearl collection um, and then they laughed at me and then they said this is not a five millimeter pearl this is a 10 millimeter pearl this is the queen of the sea water pearls that you've got here and my friend forgot that i got it got it from her like i think almost a decade ago and at that time the price was still quite affordable and she says now that um it's quite difficult for her to get it because it's really really expensive the price of this has truly escalated like nearly triple of what i paid for it and this is the mother of all pearls this is seawater pearls 10 millimeter and the weight of it is very very weighty and i had the clasp changed um, to this silver clasp and it's easier to put on because the other one was a bit loose and I'm afraid that it may just um, untangle. Um, you can see the craftsmanship of the pearls, the more expensive ones, they will actually individually knot it. If you have a good eye and you invest in jewelry, the value of it can escalate. This is one of my best investment and I love it. Like I can even wear it with this outfit. This is a cotton dress with some embroidery to it um, but I thought I'll just take this out today because I'm going to be talking about some new jewelry so this is my own personal jewelry I just wanted to share this with you so that if any one of you um, are thinking of restringing your jewelry you can do so as well even recently one of my long-term customers she uh, bought the Egyptian gold from me and she asked whether we could fix her chain which was broken and she's such a lovely lovely person um if you see her she's really really beautiful so i think a lot of people you know if you've got the whole package but if you've got exquisite manners it actually makes you stand out even more um when i did the uh, chain for her and I actually went to see her first to deliver the Egyptian gold um, pearl necklace to her and then I collected the chain that she requested help with and she was saying that you know you don't have to come 
all the way to me again i can collect it from you and before she came to collect it from me she texted me and she got it from me and afterwards even when she's collected it she would text me and thank me for it i think this is really really uh, good manners which are not like seen in the younger generation this is what our parents have taught us um it really makes you stand out um it makes you much more memorable to other people and i think that um it's really really such a beautiful um extra asset to have anyway if you just go into jewelries i am going to be featuring this exquisite pair of um, earrings it's in a filigree paisley design um, that is very very synonymous with the 1960s 1970s as i said 1970s print 1970s print are in again we are going into more richer colors more um richer tones for fall winter as i said it was more austere and more stark with more blacks and whites but you still got colors but they are in jewel tones but i'm gonna, not going to be touching on that yet and i'm compiling that video designers have suddenly burst into colors for spring summer and it's very very exciting so this pair of jewelry this pair of earrings would be right up that alley and it's actually a classic design it will never go out of style um, it's got that pearl right on top and it's got that red garnet as well as aquamarine i chose this outfit to showcase this earring because this outfit has got all the vibrant colors that are available in this um, here it's got that aquamarine and garnet it's got that pop of color um, so this is my first pair that i'm going to be featuring at the same time um, a departure from jewelry i'm also going to be showcasing some home decor uh, made up of crystals as well so this is the first one that i'm going to be featuring this is actually a garnet and what i love about this is it comes in this plastic sort of container so that um, it's dust free you can put it in there or i've also got the mini ones like these coral ones um the main body is made up of copper so this is really really nice as a decor you can put it in your home or in your office obviously it's got some properties to it it actually coral is also actually very very cleansing um, it also attracts a lot of abundance and um, i think this would be very very appropriate in the office as well i've also got this one which is turquoise turquoise is much more calming it's a stone of protection as well the red indians always believe that corals it will actually protect you from the evil eye so if you've got a lot of like backstabbing in the office or something um, this would actually protect you calm you down and cleanse the air as well it cleanses the chi and prevents the evil eye from attacking you this is what they believe in as well so this is a great and cute addition that you can put in the office and if you're worried about dust settling in on it it's got that handy plasticky um, container so you can just leave it like this because uh, people always believe that for crystals and for jewelry um, it's not good for letting other people to touch it because every person has got their own chi and we are afraid that if they've got a uh, negative chi and if they were to touch it it would actually affect the chi of your crystal so that is why people always say that it's always better to always cleanse your crystals okay so i finally managed to get it out of the box this is a garnet isn't it extremely extremely gorgeous um you can see that the colors are very very rich it's almost like grapes um with the light shining through it it's absolutely magnificent and garnet is also a stone of abundance it also attracts a very very uh, positive 
aura to your surroundings. It's got that beautiful, beautiful color. It's like grapes, so it's like signifying growth. Having a tree at your desk or in your home. This is larger in size than the coral. The coral one is smaller, so maybe you can have two instead of just one as well it's nice to have especially if you put it together with your green plant in your office or in your home it would look really really nice and it's got that wonderful wonderful properties as i said it cleanses the chi surrounding you gives you protection gives you abundance and growth it signifies all the good positive um, energies so it's always a welcome <laughs> to the office or the home especially in these difficult times um, to have these positive reminders um, i'm not saying they are magical but they do have properties of their own um, and if you believe in them then it will work for you if you are enjoying this video i would highly appreciate if you could just take that one second of your time to click on that subscribe button because it would really really help my channel to grow